Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And if you happen to have a What's Minor N30 series or 20 series or 10 series, and you're bumping into a particular error that says error code 410, 411, or 412, this is an EEP ROM error. And it's the number of troubleshooting steps you can do to identify what the actual issue is before you go buying hardware or components. However, I would like to do a quick shout out to Altor Tech where they have a guide on their website and, and you know what's minor does have their information or their error codes online but uh altered at least has additional information uh guides along with the error codes and some useful or helpful videos if you're interested in checking that out uh including information that help you identify your model uh your control board your firmware so on and so forth but if we scroll on down to the error code uh, 410, 411, 412. Basically, it's saying that one of your boards, whether it's SM0 or through two, is having an EEP ROM error and it's saying to check board or wiring contact. Now, you can buy the actual, what I call adapter board. This is the connection between the control board and the actual uh, mining hash boards in your miner. Uh, you can see three connections here. This is where the hash board connects. And then you can see where the control board is connected to this adapter board. And that's actually a ribbon cable. Now, because you might be using immersion liquid, I want you to be wary because that immersion liquid will make rubber connections or rubber wires or wires in general, including this connector or this ribbon cable, brittle. So if you go to try to replace it, be careful. In this case, if I needed this adapter board, I would get the ribbon cable as well because I know it's been an immersion liquid. And as soon as I go to pry it off, I might break it. So just to have this as a backup would be a good thing. But before I bought anything, there's a step that I took that resolved my issue. But let's switch over to the camera and I will talk about it and then we'll wrap up here. So recently we experienced a drop in power due to a lightning strike that caused kind of a brownout here at my house. And when power was restored and the miner came back online, you can see these little green lights, only the two outside ones. So SM0 and SM2 were coming online, but not SM1. And you can see the adapter board, if I look, if you look very carefully, right here towards the top, see the green? That's where each hash board actually connects. And then the ribbon cable that connects that adapter board to the control board in blue back there. And I couldn't get it to show up. No matter what I did, I did flash the firmware via the What's Miner app. However, first things first that you want to do before you buy any hardware is you see the TF card reader? This is a micro SD card reader. Go ahead and get the control board firmware that you need for your board. In my case, it was the H616 for this control board specifically. You can see that by logging into the IP of your machine and going to the overview page. Then once I installed or flashed that SD card, that micro SD card and put it in here, I powered off the system, I disconnected the ethernet, and then I powered it back on so that way it would only read what's in here because I didn't have an ethernet connection uh, to connect to the network and do its normal uh, boot process. So then it flashed and it goes green, red, 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 red for a long time, probably about a minute maybe a minute and 15 seconds and then green light once you see that green light go ahead and power off the system again and then uh, plug in your ethernet take out the SD card and power it up again once you do that you're gonna want to flash the firmware of these hash boards again so using the normal what's minor app especially if you're on the air to liquid uh, setup it's gonna want to go back to default thinking it's with the fans so you're gonna to need to flash it back to stock, whatever the, the latest and greatest firmware is for the particular What's Minor uh, ASIC you have, and then use the air to liquid tool to flash it back to liquid. After that, you should get your board back online if it's not a hardware issue. If it's a hardware issue, then yeah, you might have to replace that adapter board or that ribbon cable. But those are the two cheapest parts compared to the control board, which can cost you a little bit more. However, let's wrap up on the computer.
some astute viewers may have seen that actually had a red blinking light, and it's not because of the error 411, 412, or 410. Instead, it's about power current, because again, lightning strike recently caused that V drooper, that drop in power, and I just need to restart the device or reflash it if really need be. But to find out the hash board that you have or the control board, like how I identified H616, let's go over to the overview or system settings. And under hardware info, you would see M30S Plus, V6, uh, G50, and then H616. That's the board I have. Now, if we go to What's Miner, we can go get the actual um, firmware we need for our control board. And so I will have this link down below, but under firmware downloads at the micro bt whatsminercom website, not only do we have the latest and greatest firmware for the M30 series and the M50 series, but there's the 20 series, there's the 10 series. And if we keep scrolling down, here it is. So you might have the H6 OS control board. I have the H16 and then there's the H3. Try to flash this onto a micro SD card first before you go buying components. Then again, flash it to its normal BIOS and you can come to the tools download to get the latest version of the What's Miner tool. Just flash it. It's going to want to go back to stock um, and then you can then transfer it back to the air to liquid uh, using the tools I've shown in a previous video. If you haven't checked that out, I'll leave that link in the description as well, uh, including this website to the firmware downloads on your wet miners. But this will uh, at least give you in the ballpark or as far as troubleshooting, get you in the right area to see, okay, what is the actual issue? Now, this board here has multiple ground locations. The screw holes right there are to grounding this board to the chassis. Um, so if there's not a solid connection there, kind of like a ground on your automobile or your engine or your car or your wiring or whatever it might be, if there's not a good ground that can sometimes cause issues, so if there's any corrosion or anything like that between the board and the chassis and it's not making a good connection, maybe clean that up. But this adapter board is only $11.99. Uh, via Alter Tech, and then the ribbon cable is $9.99. If you're interested in getting both of these or any of these or any components from this website, uh, I will leave it linked down in the description. Make sure you let them know Vega sent you or Serpent X Tech. Besides that, I just wanted to go through the process because I recently experienced it, and I just wanted to help you out in identifying or troubleshooting what could the actual issue be. It could be that it just needs to be reflash, control board, then the actual uh, what's minor or hash boards. Uh, try that first. If not, it may be the adapter. It could be a ground connection or it could be the ribbon cable or worst case control board because those are a little bit more expensive. But troubleshoot it from start to finish, step by step. If you have any issues, hit me up. You can DM me on Twitter or Discord. I do provide consulting services. I'll be happy to help. Other than that, Thank you so much for stopping by. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. I couldn't thank you enough. And you just have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.